What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with a Caliban build and review. So Caliban is the new Warframe that came out with New War. You can easily buy Caliban off the market with his entire collection or buy him individually or buy the blueprint from the market and farm the rest of his parts in Orvalis and Plains of Eidolon. During the day cycle, you can do the Namar bounties and during the Plains night cycle, go to Orvalis, farm the rest. Now let's go over his abilities and how they work. His first ability is, of course, his worst ability and the ability that you'll definitely be helminting off because all you do is spin around, barely do any damage, and by holding down the ability, we'll have you spin faster and, of course, increase your damage to horrible numbers. And during this state, if you're close to some enemy and hold the trigger button, you will push them away, basically making the ability even more useless than it already is. Yes, you can use your second ability during this state, but it's barely audible. And you can't use your other ability. So yes, remove this ability, horrible, useless, not even worth using. His second ability will do this stomp animation that will home in on enemies. Enemies who do not die will get lifted and lifted enemies will have a damage vulnerability, basically a debuff, having them take more damage. Your third ability will summon these sentient drones that will replenish your shields. Not really regen your shields, but have them recharge faster. Moving away will also have them teleport to you can see right there they teleport you cannot recast this ability until the duration has run out here i'll break my shields dodge draw summon them and as soon as my shields recharge only and only then will they boost my shield regen meaning the shield regen is not instantaneous like pillage condemn or using brief respite so if your shields do break and they begin to recharge they will increase the recharge rate. Other than that, they're not a reliable source to get your shields back. My fourth ability will release three beams that converge to one point and pull in enemies. Enemies pulled in will have their armor stripped and it will leave an AoE on the ground and any enemies that move within the AoE will have their defense strips. Now this is defenses, not only armor strip, so shields and armor all together. So let me look away. As you can see, these guys still have their armor, and then there's this energy field looking like Xenarik's energy uh, <clears throat> energy bubble. As you can see, when they're moved into that bubble, they get their armor completely stripped. So, these guys have shields. Their shields are stripped. They're outside of the AoE, just pull them in and get their shields stripped. Alright, here we are in Steel Path. Let's drag in these enemies. And go to town. Look at that. Oh, let me summon my sentient drones as well. Full. Get that full armor strip and destroy these bad guys. Cast my two. Crowd control them. And boom. As you can see, he's quite a spammy Warframe if you want to have your abilities do the work and then you follow up with the weapon. But as a proper ability casting Warframe to deal damage, not so much. So you see this AoE that's left behind will completely strip all of their armor. There is a downside. As soon as you cast your second ability and use your four, the lift mechanic is removed. I don't know if this is intentional or it's a bug. Here we go. We got the Acolyte coming in. Oh, it's Violence, the man himself. All right, let's see how we fuck him up. See? He's already stripped because he was, he, he was inside the AoE. I didn't even have to cast my fourth ability. Nice. Extraction is available. Now for helmet abilities, you can literally run whatever you want down to, you know, your personal preference or playstyle. Read Surge, Defy for some sort of iframe armor since his passive does give him adaptation. Empower, this will allow you to run one less power strength mod, but you do have to cast this every time you want to armor strip. Gloom is by far, I would say, one of the best in slots helmet abilities for Caliban. 
put it on your first ability, it synergizes with the second and fourth ability. And any knockdown done by the little sentinel sentient drones. Reeve can be a good pick. You can gather them up and armor strip them. Reeve right through them to one shot if you want. Resonator can pair really well with your sentinel sentient drones because this crowd controls, those thing crowd control. So it's down to the player. I picked Condemn because why not? More CC, replenish your shields, hold enemies in place. Okay, let's take a look at the Caliban build. I have growing power in the aura, giving me that 25% power strength increase every time I proc a status effect. This will bump my power strength just enough just to give me that 100% debuff um and yes more power strength will also give me more shields and deal some damage here and increase my debuff currently it's at 69 percent nice and if we bump it up with growing power we'll get around 70 something percent 74 percent give or take okay natural talent is okay i i know i know i love to use this mod but good lord without this mod caliban is a sitting duck his fourth ability already locks you into place so this actually helps you out stretch just for some added range he already has really good base range uh 20 meters uh oh 22 meters on his two and this has 30 meters and and a 10 meter radius so you get 14 on the aoe radius and 43 on the actual beams our power strength is coming from of course growing power transit fortitude and umbral intensify if only this was one percent more come on de just just make it 45 why not primed continuity for the balancing and duration allowing my fourth ability aoe to maintain its duration my drones and the cc on his two and for energy economy i do have prime flow and equilibrium paired with my synth mods on my panzer vocal phyla and arcane energize along with eruption eruption for that great great crowd control every time you pick up an energy orb knocking down enemies within a 30 meter radius so yes more crowd control on top of more crowd control and you know the mod that everybody complains of not having just 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 time travel it's easy you can grab yourself a prime sure footage just go and time travel i'm so sorry that's it and the weapons you can run whatever weapon you want i just decided to run the kuva brahma because i was lazy didn't want to use anything in particular and the kuva brahma was just there and for even more grouping utility i am using my conference call which is the dark ram zaw built from the dark ram sakala and varjeet jai Two. Running the Rending Crane, this allows you to trigger Exodia Hunt more efficiently. Here, as you can see, 50% chance to pull in enemies within a 12 meter radius. Bunch of attack speed mods, range, and some random utility. And this is for other Warframes, but yes, Shattering Impact as well. So, as you can see, full on utility weapon, nothing to do with damage. And the Panzer Vopa File, of course, the two synth set mods. There you go. That's pretty much it. This is my Caliban build currently. When I decide to find more synergies with him, I'll definitely drop down a video. But for now, he's pretty much uh, very meh Warframe. Better than Yorelli. Doesn't say much because anything is better than Yorelli. He's just good, but doesn't make him better than anything else. And if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.